Success and failure, I treat them both the same because they are the result of trying. Try something new, something different. This afternoon, I would like to demystify the concept of failure. Success and failure, I treat them both the same because they are the result of trying. Try something new, something different. They are the result of suppressing reality and augmenting possibility. Any upstream oil company will tell you that drilling a well does not always result in success. You don't always meet a wet well. Sometimes you meet a dry well. That doesn't mean that you are not going to drill again. You keep drilling. If you have parameters that you've checked that seem right, you try. For me, the big failure is not trying at all. I don't see failure as shameful. The big shame is not trying, not following that your destiny, not chasing that dream because of the fear of failure. Anthony Joshua just had a fight. He never fought in America. And he thought that the parameters were right for him. He took the fight and he lost all his um, boxing titles. It's not the losing of his boxing titles, but his attitude to the loss that really made me admire him so much. My job is to box. My job is not to blame the referee. He tried and he didn't succeed. But that doesn't mean that he will not try again and most likely succeed in, in the next time. The best example I'd like to give is Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was a successful golfer. Things turned south for him. And he never gave up. He kept trying. And each time he tried, he didn't succeed until the last time where he won the major. Success and failure are the product of trying. None of them should one be ashamed of. What we really should be ashamed of is not trying at all. Think about it.